Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the area of an irregular plot uh, using the uh, average ordinate rule, trapezoidal rule and Simpson's one third rule when we have been given the offsets at different intervals. Okay, I have been given a question which states that the following perpendicular offsets were taken at 10 meter intervals from a survey line to an irregular boundary line okay uh, the offsets are 2 2.82 3.37 5.82 4.26 6.59 7.9 8.52 7.42 and 5.43 meter okay these are nine offsets we have to find the area and closure between the survey line irregular boundary line and first and the last offset using the average ordinate rule uh, trapezoidal rule and simpson's one third rule okay first we will find using the average ordinate rule so offsets uh, are given distance between offsets uh, this is uniform and is equal to 10 meter number of divisions okay these are eight since we have nine offsets so they will make eight divisions or eight segments okay total length it is number of divisions multiplied by the distance between the offsets so eight into ten which is 80 meter okay so area by average ordinate rule this is given as uh, sum of ordinates divided by number of divisions plus one multiplied by the total length of line okay so sum of ordinates uh, this is 2.82 plus 3.37 plus 5.82 plus 4.26 plus 6.59 plus 7.9 plus 8.52 plus 7.42 plus 5.43 divided by 8 plus 1 into 80 which is equal to 463.38 meter square this is the area by the average ordinate rule after that we will find the area um, using the trapezoidal rule okay so area by trapezoidal rule is given as d okay that is the uh, distance between the offsets multiplied by o1 plus on that is sum of first and the last offset divided by 2 plus sum of the remaining offsets okay so d a distance between the offsets this is 10 meter first offset is 2.82 and last offset is 5.43 so 2.82 plus 5.43 divided by 2 plus sum of the remaining offsets which is 3.37 5.82 4.26 6.59 7.9 okay 8.52 and 7.42 okay so area by trapezoidal rule is equal 480.05 meter square okay so area by trapezoidal rule is more accurate than area by average ordinate rule after that we will find the area by the simpson's rule okay so distance between the offsets is 10 meter there are nine offsets so always remember that simpson's rule is only valid when the offsets are odd or uh, segments uh, are even uh, only then simpson's rule is valid if you have even number of offsets then simpson's rule is applicable but in such case you have to divide the area in two parts you have to first find the area up to the second last segment uh, which will have the odd number of segments uh, using the simpson's rule and area of the last segment you have to find it by the trapezoidal rule and then you have to add the area obtained by the simpson's rule and the trapezoidal rule this is uh, this case is valid when you have even number of offsets here we have nine offsets which is an odd number so simpson's rule can be applied okay so area by simpson's rule is given as distance between the offsets that is d divided by three uh, into first plus last offset plus four times summation of uh, even offsets plus two times summation of odd offsets okay so distance is 10 divided by 3 first offset is 2.82 last is 5.43 so 2.82 plus 5.43 plus four times summation of even offsets which are at even places okay so it's 3.37 plus 4.26 plus 7.9 okay plus 7.42 plus two times summation of odd offsets okay so it's 5.82 plus 6.59 plus 8.52 okay 
सो एरिया बाय सिम्पसन्स रूल इज इक्वल टू 473.03 मीटर स्क्वायर रिमेंबर दैट सिम्पसन्स रूल इज एक्चुअली मोर एक्यूरेट देन ट्रैपेजोइडल रूल एंड आल्सो बाय द एवरेज ऑर्डिनेट रूल सो if you have to calculate uh, area more precisely you will use the simpson's rule okay so this is how you can find the area of an irregular boundary uh, using these three methods you just have to find the offsets uh, to the irregular boundary line from a definite survey uh, line okay perpendicular offsets and then you can easily calculate the area using any of the three methods okay i hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learned something new if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned